And welcome back to our special coverage of this weather impact alert as Hurricane Helene is, uh, Helene is nearing landfall within the next few hours on the Florida coast. Our entire team is walking you through this system that is going to be a very impactful system as it not only is making landfall in Florida later on this evening, but then moving through Georgia uh, throughout the nighttime hours tonight and overnight as well. So Hurricane Helene is now a category four hurricane uh, before it's even reaching the coast. We think that landfall will be nine, 10 o'clock tonight there in the Big Bend region. We have already had a lot of rain here. We're expecting an additional three to six inches of rain. So the rain that we've already had was with a cold front and then today, uh, the flow around Helene and the Gulf of Mexico is enhancing the Gulf moisture moving our way. But then the rain shield with Helene still has to get here, and that's going to be overnight tonight and into early tomorrow morning. So we have a lot of rain that is going to cause some flooding in many areas. The next concern is the wind. We're talking about 50 to 70 mile per hour wind gust in the areas where we have a tropical storm warning. Most of us are in a tropical storm warning. We have some counties on the south side. Uh, uh, like down towards Spalding County, Pike County, Upson County, Jasper County, and Butts County, where we have a hurricane warning in effect. We can see winds there at 80 miles an hour. The other thing we're watching is the tornado risk. That's mainly going to be over into parts of East Georgia on the east side of that track. Here is the storm, category four right now. Now, there's the center of that circulation, but all of Florida is feeling the impacts right now. This is a very large storm system that is sending in those bands of rain there to the Florida Peninsula. And it's not only have tornado watches there, but there's a tornado warning just north of the Fort Myers area. As you move up into North Florida and into South Georgia, another tornado watch in effect. And with that, we have a couple of tornado warnings there too. We expect the center of the circulation. It almost looks like that has taken a little bit of a jog over to the east. We still think this is going to be moving up to the Big Bend area uh, with that landfall tonight as a category four hurricane moving inland during the uh, evening hours. There you can see those additional tornado warnings there in South Georgia. Another tornado watch in uh, East Georgia and into South Carolina. And this is where you can see kind of the flow, the circulation around that, that counterclockwise flow that is feeding in all of that moisture into our area on top of the rain that we've already had thanks to the front uh, that moved in for the uh, first part of the week here for the yesterday during the day today and now additional rain is going to be moving in and that is going to be flooding rain here in our area. Here is the track we're watching category four max winds at 130 miles an hour right now. This could even go even higher. Now uh, 130 miles an hour is the low end cat four when it was 125 that was when it was a cat three. So if you're wondering why is it one time we see it's a cat three and then it's a cat four, it's going between 120 and 130 miles an hour. And that is the difference there between a cat three and four. If it got up to 156 miles an hour, then it would be upgraded to a category five. I've had a few people ask me, Chris, could this be a cat five at landfall? As it's getting a little bit closer, and since it is a low end cat four, it's not out of the question it could be a category five, but it's starting to run out a little bit of time uh, for that strengthening to take place. It has been experiencing though, uh, really fast intensification with that. So there you can see, Moving inland tonight, still a Category 2 hurricane well inland there in parts of South Georgia. And then coming down to a Cat 1 in middle Georgia, we do think by the time it gets to the Atlanta area, it will be tropical storm force winds, uh, 50 to 65 mile an hour winds still there with higher gusts possible. And then it moves up to the north into areas of Tennessee and Kentucky. And you see those areas of low pressure. What's going to happen is going to stall out and then it's pretty much going to fall apart there uh, in parts parts of Kentucky. The good news about this is you'll notice these pretty big jumps. So from 2 a.m. to 2 p.m., that's a 12 hour trip there from South Georgia into Tennessee. A lot of times these tropical systems uh, could, could travel slowly and will just keep the wind for a long time and keep the rain going for a long time. At least this one is moving pretty quickly. This isn't going to stick around long. It's going to really the main window of those higher impacts for us will be let's say from two in the morning till about eight in the morning and then things are going to be improving later in the day for tomorrow so this is what i want you to be aware of before we get to the bottom of the hour this weather impact alert still in effect for the rest of the night now 
and it'll be in effect during the day tomorrow. The impacts we're watching, rain, and this is going to be flooding rain. The wind will be damaging wind, tropical storm force winds, and then we're watching for, for the risk of storms. So you still most likely have power out there right now. Prepare for those outages now. Make sure you are charging your phone, you are charging your devices. If you lose power, you will still be able to get information from us on those devices uh, on our app. And then also make sure you have batteries as well uh, it's for the flashlights or anything else you need uh, for some power. Uh, are we going to break now? Okay, stay with us. We'll be back with much more. Uh, Jennifer Bellamy and Jonathan Martin are standing by at our news desk as well. We'll have more from them and the rest of our team coming up.